Lion Nation, a pleasant hello to you today. Another edition of Coach's Corner, and I am pleased, as always, to be joined. Head Coach Victor Santa Cruz. Uh, Coach Santa Cruz, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us again today. Um, when we last spoke, um, and your theme this season has been taking every game, using it as a data point, and using that to get better and, and to improve what you need to improve. Uh, when the scoreboard obviously wasn't representative of what you wanted last week, but it's still an opportunity to take something with you. Have you seen that application as you guys get ready for your challenge this week against Santa Margarita? Yeah, I, you're 100% in that. What, how I think and how we process and how we do programs here is, a, is every, every game its own. You got to take its own picture because the opponent's different. The weather could be different. There's so many circumstances that go into every game. And so uh, we're kind of drawing all we could out of the, out of the, the last game we, that we played is, uh, one, you realize, okay, this is the landscape. Now, having you know, been on this side of it and being able to say, okay, you're, not only are you weekly preparing for it, you're, uh, you're in the game, you're seeing it firsthand, seeing how your players are doing with it. Uh, it's a big, it's, it was a real big uh, research moment for me and understanding learning moment for me and the staff because uh, you know, we have no you know, qualms about saying, listen, we want to be in that seat. That's what we came to do. And so this is all kind of a process and a journey about how do you put the things in place, train the way you got to train so that you can handle that moment and that game the next time it comes up. And so, you know, I think what we looked at was, um, you know, when it, how we become play a little more disciplined with in a big game. Um, there, there were things, there was moments where I felt like um, players may have been relying on emotion a little too much. And now I'm just one of those guys where it's like you're trained or untrained. And so we're going to get ourselves to the point where um, we're trained for those moments. And it, football is emotional. I get it. Mm -hmm. But it's not played or won through emotion. You have to train. It's all about the training. That's what we're going to be about and what we are about. Just being the most uh, the place that uh, a young man can come to and say, hey, we can develop you to the fullness as a football player academically, socially, spiritually as well. Now, we always talk about the Trinity League not affording you any time to either rest on your laurels if you win or, you know, be emotional about things if you lose and get down about yourself. Yeah. And obviously, that holds true this week. The challenge is Santa Margarita. They're coming in here after dropping two league games, so obviously they're hungry. You guys are looking to get back on the winning track. You're hungry, so right. we got two hungry teams. What do you feel is going to be uh, the key in terms of you getting a successful result in a victory here this week? Yeah, I, I, you know, surrounding this whole week, you can feel the energy on campus, you feel the energy about the week, the fans, the alumni, uh, you feel this, the, you know, even our own current players. Um, and I think for me, being the first time coaching in this game, you appreciate that. I, 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 one of the things to me, I just I love being around people and programs um, and communities that truly care about the game. And you can sense the, the urgency and the caring about the game this week. So one of the things for us is this, this week is knowing that SM is, you know, and just like any opponent in this league, is, is, a, is a worthy opponent. And uh, they've got their strengths. They, uh, you know, Gazinga, the, 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 their new quarterback, he's 6'7", uh, he's, he's 230, he runs well, he sees he has good vision. So, you're, you know, it's, it's the biggest quarterback we've seen, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, you know, he's also punts for them. And so you, you see a, a guy who's a really good athlete that's, uh, that's beyond the, in the control seat with their offense. Uh, Trent Mosley is a wide receiver for them that uh, you have to know where he's at in the field. Uh, and, you know, you have a defense that for them that's multiple and running around trying to, trying to cause problems with their different multiple fronts. So what do I say with that? Well, it goes back to us. You know, it's, like, it's all about how we play, not who we play. And it can sound um, robotic to some people. It can sound so, like, cliche to some people, but it's truly how I think. And it's how we've trained. It's just... You know the best version of ourselves. Uh, the best ver version of ourselves will be successful, and if for some reason the scoreboard doesn't reflect that, you got to walk away as a competitor. And say that was our best. That means that other team, you know, had to have been that had been that much better. And that's part. I go back a week ago, looking back, we didn't play our best football, and that's part of our group. Everybody learning how to say, hey, the big game is still a game within the same confines as the the football field. Learn to be able to manage yourself, visualize what's going on success, and be the best you can in that moment. Now, you talked a little bit about the emotion being palpable. I think we all kind of feel right. it. Uh, the Trinity League, there's rivalries everywhere, but I believe here at J. Sarah, Santa Margarita kind of brings out a little bit more in terms of 
wanting to beat them. How do you, you know, you mentioned tapering the emotion a little bit and making sure the execution is high. How do you, you know, kind of preach that this week in the lead up and, you know, what is it going to take to kind of play with emotion but not let emotion take over and maybe make mistakes? Yeah, when well, you're talking about, you know, young men that are 14 to 19 years old. So <laughs> for me to say I'm taking out the emotion is going to be a just, that's, that's not possible. You're trying to train them how to use the emotion. And so, uh, you know, it's one of those, you know, for cliche words to say, it's like the, the old Star Wars terms. Like, hey, how do you use the force <laughs> instead of being, uh, you know, just, just just stricken to the dark side by it? Um, and, and, and so you don't want to take that away because the emotion part is what's rich about the game. It's rich about what's, what's the, you know, even my own memories of being a player. Um, there's nothing like that big hit. There was nothing like that interception for a touchdown. There's nothing like your team just celebrating a big win over the so or just, and and you know the walkout going into it. Everything mm-hmm. about it is emotional, but it, you're but it's that it's that it's that smooth groove that that groove you're trying to ch- get inside that that flow state. That I'm just trying to help these young men know that if you can learn that through the game now, you got a chance to be really successful in life. You know, and the sooner you can learn it. And I think our game, our big games here every week, you know, is a big game. Affords our kids, these players, um, better opportunity to, to figure out flow, how to do that flow state more than other schools give you. Jay Sarah has been a really resilient team this season. Every time they've come up short on the loss column and the mm-hmm. scoreboard, you guys have managed to come back the next week and win. Resiliency, obviously, you got to have a lot of that. Where does that come from from this team, and how do they use that in their advantage this week? I think it does come to hope from how we've structured and organized everything from, you know, myself to the coaching staff what we're telling our, our players back in January. It's that whole win today type of mindset. It's that one blood football knowing that, hey, you, you may have a bad day, but guess what? Your teammates counting on you. And so we're all counting on each other to be successful. And then I also go back to uh, the, all the things we do throughout the offseason, um, helping with our, with our attitude models, how to train what is attitude. And, and a big function of that to us is, is, is how you, how you um, can filter each moment, how you can re, um, recategorize each moment, how you can um, um, just digest really what it will take away. Because if you just let the emotion be all the how you, how you define a moment, um, that's, gonna be a, that's, that's some rough seas you're going to be on, highs and lows. I think I said it earlier in the week, and I told the players, I read your Kimpling says it best in his If poem. He says that, uh, you know, meeting triumph and disaster, he calls them two imposters. Triumph and disaster are two imposters. He says, treat them both the same. And it's really what we're trying to train our players to do is don't define yourself by that win. Don't define yourself by that loss. Define yourself about how you operate every single moment of the day. And that's where your character comes in. That's where your, uh, your training comes in. That's where your ability to quickly move forward is all about. And I think our players are really understanding that. Well, I love the, the reference there. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> fantastic. You'll get to see that in action again on Friday. Jay Sarah is hosting Santa Margarita. Mm-hmm. Jay Sarah currently sits in third place in the Trinity League, one and one. Santa Margarita will come in hungry for a win. They're 0 and 2. We look forward to it again. Coach Victor Santa Cruz, thank you so much for joining us here at Coach's Corner. Thank you very much.